Well, sometimes you hear all about talent scouts coming to town on the lookout for people with star potential. Yeah, Joel McGee is a scout of a different kind. He looks for vintage toys and collectibles, not for appraisals. He wants to buy them. Oh, he sure does. Joel, he's joined us before. Welcome back to Omaha, Joel. Hey, thanks here. for having Good me, guys. Morning. Man, I bet you've laid your eyes on a lot of toys since our last visit. Well, huh? I'll tell you what, it's been it's been city after city, all yeah. the way from Los Angeles to New York mm -hmm. this year. Wow, and in <laughs> Omaha this weekend. Yes, but, yes, the really, heart of the country. That's right, right, the belly. Uh, but as a toy scout, what do you do? I mean, exactly, what's your job? You know, I'm basically kind of like a picker like you see on TV, you know, Frank and Mike, only I do it for toys, mm -hmm. and I love scouring through attics and closets. Mm -hmm. and, and you know it's amazing this stuff has been sitting for for decades mm -hmm. and we give it new life mm -hmm. and uh, you know come out to play again and <laughs> get some cash in your pocket too that's right too that yes yes that want. always helps and maybe some people don't even know what they have so let's get them inspired yes okay, yes Joel? very much so let's start on what here. did you bring in we hey, bought some right really cool stuff that was actually one of my favorite shows when I was a kid that was the six uh -huh. million dollar man Me too. And they say if it was on today, it'd be the six billion dollar man. Really? The cost of, <laughs> the cost of, of right. bubble gum out. stickers. Yes. <laughs> so what are those? Were just like yeah, these were trading cards. You would uh, oh, like you would baseball actually, cards. Yeah, like back baseball in the day. cards. Only mm -hmm. only uh, six million dollar man. Okay. Batman. Everybody. Ah, uh, he's cool. Figure. I mean, yeah. that was you know he's timeless. Obviously, I mean the the Batman movies are just as popular today mm -hmm. as they were back in the 1960s. Superheroes. And, that's one of the things collectors are looking for. Superheroes are very popular. In fact, we even brought the Batman Batcopter. Oh wow! I mean, for gosh sake. We'll that in a second, but th this is in the package, so are things more valuable when they're still in the package? They are, but that's a good question because we don't want people to think that they have to Look. just bring their toys if they're in the packages, um, so they can be loose. The value of the toy goes up if it's in the package, yeah. but we like them in any condition because we have a lot of people at restore. Well, I'll tell you what, you're bringing back a lot of memories with this, BJ and the Bear. <laughs> mm -hmm. So what's the value? How do you determine then um, how much something's worth, how much you're willing to pay for it? And it's amazing, the value depends on the condition as mm -hmm. we see it. Um, for example, this one happens to be mint sealed in the box, uh -huh. the Lone Ranger here. If it was unsealed, same unsealed. condition, it'd be worth about half as much. I was oh, going to wow. try to show them. The so it doubles yeah. the price if it's yeah. wrapped. And if it was loose, that's fine too. It's worth about 25%. So you can see well, the difference in values. Let's then maybe jump down here to this because this Dukes of Hazard set has gotten yes. a lot of attention already this morning. You know, bring them back <laughs> memories and talk yeah. about that. But this box looks like it might have been, I mean, it's still in the box, but the box isn't in good yeah. shape. So what is this worth? Very good point. This one here is worth right around 50 to $60 right now, but the value will go up on this we're gonna fix this up we're gonna take this back to the warehouse and we're actually gonna make this box look beautiful again so that's part of what we do is a lot of restoration how do you do that how do you make this box look like it just came off we, the shelf we actually will dissect this box it's uh, there's a seam on the back we'll actually cut that seam flatten it out the insert will come out we'll flatten that box out we'll repair it from the inside if uh, we have a special pressing machine mm -hmm. that will press it and then uh, we'll make it look brand new again wow. put it all back humpty how, dumpty how <laughs> old does a toy have to be to get your attention joel generally uh about when the people reach the age of 40 is when they start collecting toys that they had as a kid so mm -hmm. we're actually into the 80s now Mm -hmm. um, so anything in the 80s, but uh, you know, in, in the next several years, we'll be into the 90s. And like it'll this keep guy. Forward. That's GI Joe. Joe. Oh, pull nope. a string. This is a talker. Here you go. Let's see what he has to say. Oh boy, a little <laughs> longer. Sometimes, sometimes all right, here we go. He we'll give it our special touch. I've got a tough assignment for you. Is that what he said? Yeah. What is it? And uh, this was the fuzz hair GI Joe, uh -huh. and he came out in 1970. Mike referred to him as the Chia Pet. Yeah, yeah there you go, the Chia Pet. Yeah. Really are <laughs> hey, you know what? Maybe we'll give them. Hey, we should check on that. We Maybe should. we can hey, make the Chia GI Joe. You said this is the most valuable piece you brought in. Yes. Tell us about it. This is Spider-Man issue number one. Mm. How did and you get your hands on this guy? Well, you know, it came in at one of our one of our other shows. Actually, to be honest with you, one of the biggest comic collections I ever bought was here in Omaha. Omaha, Nebraska really? about six years ago. No the guy used to have a vending company and he had probably 400 mint unused comic mm -hmm. books from kidding. 1964. Yeah, uh, absolutely. You bought the whole collection? Can, can you talk the whole about the whole collection? What did he get for it? Or, or it was like $50,000 <laughs> at the time. Yeah. What yes. is it? What would you sell this for? This particular one, this is this is a, on a grading scale. We actually mm -hmm. sent this in to have it graded. The higher the scale, the more it's worth. Mm -hmm. This is a three, which is kind of on the lower end, but it's still a $3,000 comic, wow. even at a three. Yes. That's awesome. That is incredible. And then Tron. I saw this Tron box right here. Tron, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That was another another fun uh, movie. We, we collect a lot of shows. 
uh, uh, toys that are related to TV shows, uh, movies. Tron happens to be one of them. And, and I forgot to bring Barbie today, but I, I don't want the ladies to think that we don't do dolls. So we, yes, we do. love all kinds of dolls mm -hmm. and Barbie and, and everything you can imagine. In, in addition to toys, are you looking for other collectibles? And give us a few ideas if so. Yes. Well, I personally am a Disneyland collector. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And I collect Disneyland toys, but I actually collect actual Disneyland ride vehicles. I've got a Peter Pan awesome. ship and uh, oh a lot of things that were used in the park, so that's one of my favorites. Uh, I don't know if we have any of those in Omaha, but you never know. <laughs> you never know. But our producer asked a good question, and I have the same question, too, because I've got a lot of these. Garbage Pail Kids, are those uh, being collected right now? Yeah, are people getting money for they're those? They're up and coming. they're early 80s. That's eight, early right. 80s. We're hitting right on the Garbage Pail Kids. In fact, if they make a movie, which I've heard there's something in the works, yeah. that's going to bring the value of those up dramatically. Uh -huh. But yeah. anything that was cool like that, the Garbage Pail Kids, they made wacky packages. Um, but that's one of those things that I would say within the next two or three years is definitely going to mm -hmm. see a big jump in value. Yeah, I think I, th I, think I have the first three uh, series of all the cards yeah. in, in Garbage Pail. I know there's a lot of people that collected those too. There in, is. And you know, everybody says, well, which series is worth the most? Mm -hmm. Usually it's the first, the first, but a lot of times it's the last also mm -hmm. because they kind of like when they got towards the last one, sometimes they made a quick production mm -hmm. if they weren't doing so well. Oh, and mm -hmm. we've seen the, the last issue be even worth well, as much. Well, Ronald Ray Gunn was one of those Garbage <laughs> Pail <laughs> cards. Yes. That I had That's life. awesome. The <laughs> Omaha Vintage Toy Buying Show. It's today through Sunday. So again, this isn't just about going in and learning about value. Joel is interested in buying toys and you'll be coming to TV real soon. What yes. are you up to? Yes. Well, we got some exciting news. We just finished producing the pilot episode of The Toy Scout. Uh -huh. And we're, uh, we're looking to, uh, we actually filmed it in Hollywood, which yeah. was a lot of fun. And our first guest is Butch Patrick, who played Eddie Munster on The Munsters. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and you have not told anybody this, so this is the this big is, announcement This right is the here. big announcement. So, so You oh, mentioned good luck Mike and pilot. Frank. I feel like the oh, Toy Scout yeah. is the next American well, You know what's Pickers. funny is, is we were, our film crew was staging in Burbank. And their film crew was staging at the very same place. And we didn't even right know they were going to be there. Awesome. I mean, what's the chances of that? This makes right. so much sense, though, because people love it. You yeah, know? it is. I mean, to wait for you to come in to see a live, but then to also watch you on TV. I think yeah, it's and it's fun. And, and the fact every episode is going to have a celebrity that had a toy patterned after them. Oh, so fun. it could be That's Gene awesome. Simmons with Kiss. It could, could be, be who Jeez, knows. Jeez. Mary anybody. Nelson with her sidekick, Mike DiGiacomo. Yeah. Joel, thanks for your time. Oh, thank you, Joel. It's great to see you. Come back thanks, soon. Guys. Enjoy Omaha. Yeah. All right, thank you, Joel. I will. Shark